So the shotgun meta gets changed in every single season, and chapter two, season six has been no different. You know, we now have three shotguns in the game, each of them with very different abilities. You know, the shotgun meta is here, and it's time to break it down. Butcher Crunch Army, I'm so excited. Today, we're looking at all three shotguns in the current season, so you know exactly what to expect when dropping down into the Fortnite island. Are you guys ready for this? I know I am. Let's get this going. Up first, all right, we got the makeshift shotgun. So this weapon is a brand new shotgun that was only just introduced in chapter two, season six. And since it was first released, it has been involved in quite a bit of a controversy. So the gun design seemed to be terrible. And you know, it was when it was first released, it appeared to be severely overpowered compared to the rest of the shotguns in the game, right? So the pullout and the reload times were both incredibly slow and it only held two shells. It also did the least amount of damage of any shotgun in the season. So there were only a couple of, you know, upsides to carrying the makeshift. The first of these was the ability to shoot your shots in very rapid succession. It practically felt like that you were shooting with the speed of the classic double pump, only it just did a whole lot worse than that strategy. The second upside is the fact that any makeshift shotgun can be upgraded one rarity level into either a pump shotgun or a primal shotgun with bones and gears found throughout the map. So if you're lucky enough to find a blue makeshift, you can immediately just upgrade it to a purple pump or a purple primal and that's a really, really big deal. And so for those two reasons, although, you know, the makeshift, you know, was considered overpowered, it was still worth picking it up in the early game, which was a good thing because another issue with the makeshift is that it was super common. Like everywhere you look, there would be a makeshift shoddy just sitting on the ground or just hiding in a chest way more than any other primal or pump shotgun. Luckily, in the latest 16.10 patch, all right, the makeshift shotgun has changed a bunch and pretty much all of it is just better. Like, first of all, the new patch has changed the pullout speed of the makeshift like one of the biggest problems that players had with the weapon was that it had an incredibly slow pullout time meaning it was just incredibly hard to use the weapon in a peace control situation because of how long it took to get the weapon back into your hands now okay you can pull the makeshift out much faster which makes it a lot more viable to really hold it hold on its own and then you combine that with the fact that the makeshift now has three shots instead of only two whoo and you end up with a weapon that is actually not too bad and will probably manage to see you through most of your early game situations. As if all that wasn't good enough, okay, there was also a buff on how you can actually find crafting parts in the 16.10 patch as well. Okay, so as of the last update, you can now find mechanical parts and animal bones as floor loot meaning it's gonna be much easier to upgrade your makeshift to one of the two other shotguns in the game, yes. Before the latest patch, we would have agreed that you should definitely only ever pick up the makeshift if you really needed to, or if you have the ability to just immediately upgrade the weapon. But with these recent changes, guys, like there's a whole new dimension to the makeshift shotgun. Like its raw ability has been increased and its upgrade ability has also been buffed. Now, if you do see a makeshift, like picking it up won't be too bad, it's basically the perfect early game weapon. All right, guys, let me say this. If you guys need some help surviving the early game with any weapon, then you gotta head on over to ProGuides.com. All right, we got master courses from the biggest pros in the scene, like Clicks, as well as pro coaches who are ready and waiting to help you guys out 24/7, so you can improve at Fortnite fast. Head on over to that site now, and you can just get ahead of the competition. So next up on our list is a weapon that pretty much everybody should really know by now. It's the pump shotgun. So when the pump was removed once again in chapter two, season five, everyone was pretty mad. Everyone who plays Fortnite seems to be a fan of the pump shotgun. I mean, it's only like one of the most fun and engaging weapons the game has ever seen and can probably be considered Fortnite's most iconic weapon. Well, luckily it came back again in chapter two, season six. Unfortunately, it was back with a few changes. One of the biggest changes to the pump shotgun in this season has been a nerf to its damage dealing ability at higher rarities. So in the past, like the purple and the gold versions of the pump shotgun would absolutely just shred your enemies. The purple could do a max damage of 200 with a headshot, while the gold version could do a max damage of 220 with a headshot. And that would just be enough to just completely wipe an enemy player off the map with a single blast if you were just skilled enough to really land the shot properly. So the one-shot nature of the pump was considered good by some and really bad by others. So there was a lot of controversy regarding whether the weapon actually belonged in competitive play or not because some saw it as just the ultimate bailout weapon, allowing bad players to get lucky eliminations with the right combination of events. 
And so, you know, for those of you that thought that way, you should definitely be pretty happy with the way the pump shotgun works in Chapter 2 Season 6. So, in this season, the purple version of the weapon now does a max damage of 189 per shot if you land all your pellets to the head, and the gold is going to do 203. This means you can still get an insta-kill with the gold pump, but the purple pump will always be a two-shot elimination no matter what if your opponent is at full health. This sounds like a major nerf on paper, but the fact of the matter is, like, people aren't always going to to be just running around with full health. Even if they've been tagged by someone once, you merely just get that one shot potential back with the purple pump. So it's an absolutely deadly weapon in the right hands. You just need to have the skill to use it. All right, bunch of crunch on me. Hope you guys are still here. It's time for the question of the day. With all the massive changes to the shotguns over the past season, all right, we want to know like what your favorite shotgun in Fortnite history is. Like, are you a fan of the pump? Do you like the charge shotgun style? Or do you want the heavy shotgun to finally come back? Let us know in the comments below because we definitely read everyone. All right, so the third and final shotgun present in Chapter 2 Season 6 right now is the Primal Shotgun. All right, so this is another brand new weapon that was only just introduced in Chapter 2 Season 6, and ever since it was added to the game, it has just been the subject of a whole lot of controversy. For those of you that played in Chapter 1, you might remember the drum shotgun. <laughs> well, with an incredibly similar set of mechanics to the drum shotgun, the primal shotgun is basically what happens when you just turn things up to 11. This shotgun can either be found in chest or as part of, you know, floor loot pool, but it's also available when a makeshift shotgun is upgraded with animal bones. It features an expensive 12 round magazine and can be fired simply by holding down the shoot button, which causes its 12 rounds to just pour out at rapid speed and kind of a double burst shot. Saying this thing absolutely shreds is probably a bit of an understatement. Like not only when you get into your opponent's box, does this thing annihilate any and everything in that box, but you could just also spray straight through walls, man. As if the shotgun were some sort of like an SMG, so you could just break straight into your opponent's box without even having to stop shooting shooting. And so with the amount of ammo the shotgun holds in its clip and its absurd damage dealing ability, the competitive scene has been in an uproar ever since this season began to get this thing nerfed. And so before this 16.10 pass, this shotgun was not only overpowered, but it was by far the best shotgun. Like luckily in the patch, Epic decided to nerf the primal shotgun by reducing its fire rate. But was this nerf even close to enough? Like, they didn't touch the damage, clip size, or range of the shotgun. The only change that was made was a slight reduction to how fast the weapon fires. I mean, it's going to take a little bit of time for the meta to really settle, but many people are already thinking that the Primal Shotgun is just still way too strong, even after the nerf, setting it as far and away the best shotgun in the game right now. All right, so while many players do agree that the makeshift shotgun was by far the worst shotgun in the early stages of Chapter 2 Season 6, its recent buff may have brought it up to the level of the other weapons in the game. At the very least, with its now bigger shot count and higher speed firing, the makeshift is definitely a serviceable early game option for sure. All right, so next, the pump shotgun has returned. Although many people would have called the pump the best shotgun in practically any other season, with the primal shotgun in play, it no longer is the favorite weapon of choice and that being said you're still likely to do massive amounts of damage if you know how to land your shot so if you're a sharpshooter who wants to show off their skill yo the pump is for you last but certainly not least the primal shotgun in the early stages of chapter 2 season 6 was far and away the best weapon in the game it has since been nerfed but the nerf it's received was pretty little is this shotgun still the best honestly probably is like it can cut through builds and enemy players alike in, in an instant and will likely continue to dominate the pro scene until a more substantial nerf is made. Bunch of crunch army. Okay, just remember guys, no matter which weapon that you use in Fortnite, you know, the real thing that matters is your skill and ability. You know, a really good player will figure out how to succeed no matter what they're picking up on the island. And anyone can really get to that point with enough time, with enough practice, and with enough effort. You can do it guys. Believe in yourself and nothing's impossible. If you guys liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want even more motivation, connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. I'm so proud of you guys. I believe in you guys. I am your number one fan. I see you soon.